Hi guys, before rubbing off the board, I was just discussing how fast is electricity, whatever that may mean. And we were discussing that if you have an electrical device like a bulb far, far, far away from the source or the switch, as soon as you switch it on, as soon as you switch it on, you, you see that the bulb glows. Now it seems like the electricity has reached instantaneously. So I've drawn, I've drawn a circuit for you, a DC circuit for you with the positive terminal this side and the negative terminal this side. And suppose this uh, red piece of zigzag wire is the bulb and we are going to discuss that on switching on, how fast will the electron reach over here? How fast will the electron reach over here? Mind you, the conventional direction of electricity is this way. But then we are going to study the actual movement of the electron. We are going to discuss the actual movement. So we'll rather go for the movement of electron than the convention. The electrons, I'll put it in blue, an electron over here would be moving from the negative terminal towards the positive terminal. So I just want to want to want to figure out how fast will this electron or want to know how fast will this electron reach over there. And any guesses, by the way, any guess? Now you would be surprised to know that it would take more than half a day. It will take more than half a day. I have made precisely half meter from here to there. And for a normal wire with a normal current, the wires what you see around you and a current of say one amp, this electron is going to take more than half a day reaching over there. That doesn't mean that when you switch on, it will take half a day for the bulb to glow. The bulb glows instantaneously. We'll see why. So, <clears throat> in fact, before starting this discussion, I had set in motion two things over here. One snail and, and a blue dot, a tiny blue dot, which you would have guessed is it is representing the electron. And I'm comparing the speed of the two. And this is exactly one meter what I have drawn over here. And the snail has got a typical speed of a snail speed. An average snail speed would be 10 power minus 2 meter per second. The snails much slower than that also. Snails speed. That means it is going to take 100 seconds to cover 1 meter. This is 1 meter. It is going to take 100 seconds. 100 seconds is more than more than one and a half minutes one and a half minute would be 90 seconds it is more than one and a half minutes and you will be surprised to know that the velocity the speed of the electron which is called the drift velocity that is thousand times slower than this average snail it is thousand times slower so if the snail is going to take a hundred seconds one and a half minutes then the electron is going to take thousand times one and a half minutes it is going to take 1500 minutes or more 1500 minutes to cover this one meter 1500 1200 minute is 20 hours 1500 minutes would be more than a day so the electron is going to take more than a day to cover a one meter wire distance. So if you have one, if you have equipment one meter away, it's going to the electron is going to take more than a day, provided the electron was going in the same direction all the time. That happens in a DC current. Mind you, in an AC current, which is alternating current, the direction of flow of current keeps on changing. So so the electron which starts moving in this direction in an AC current starts going backwards and then again forward, forward and back, forward and back, effectively going nowhere, effectively going nowhere. And that to that forward and backward movement is that slow, that slow. How much slow? It is thousand times less than this. So drift velocity would be in the range of 10 per minus 5 meter per second. So that's that's the that's the speed of electron. That's the speed of electron. So I hope you believe me when you know this fact that it is that much. Uh, uh, and if you don't, then you can go for the formula of drift velocity, which will be there in your higher standards. So I'm not writing that formula over here. 
which is not the point of this uh, uh, talk and you can apply the formula for a normal cross section of wire and you'll figure out how much is the drift velocity or you can simply google how much is the drift velocity in an average wire with a average current in it so the point now comes that if this electron is going to take more than half a day to reach over here why does this light up instantaneously why does this light up instantaneously the answer is quite simple this thing to light up is not waiting for that electron to come the whole of the wire is full of electrons the whole of the wire is full of electrons the whole of the wire is full of electrons which are ready to move and as soon as i switch on they receive the signal to move what do you, what do i mean by that there is a electric field set up i have explained electric field using the analogy of gravitational field in the previous topic so again i'll do the same thing but I, let me repeat that as soon as i switch on the electric field gets set up and that speed of electric field getting set up is almost the speed of light it is almost the speed of light depending on what is the material of the wire i don't want to get into the technical terms permeability and permittivity of the medium which through which it is going to uh, get set up so that is basically the wire the medium is the wire so uh, depending on the wire the speed of setting up of the field is a fraction of the of the speed of light so it can be half the speed of light or almost same as the speed of light 99% of the speed of light it can be so the field is set up that fast meaning to say as soon as you switch on you have a field set up all along the wire all along the wire almost instantaneously and as discussed earlier a charge in an electric field experiences a force as mass in gravitational field experiences a force if you have a mass like this marker it feels a force in a gravitational field it feels a force because the gravitational field is going through it similarly the charges feel a force when electrical field is going through it so since i am talking about gravitational field let me make you imagine if there is earth and suppose god has switched off the gravity you have an apple say a kilometer above the surface of earth and there is no movement in the apple because there is no gravity it doesn't fall down because the earth's gravity is not acting and suppose god switches on the earth's gravity the earth is now having gravitational field how much time will it take for that apple to start falling down it will it will start falling down almost instantaneously why because we assume that the gravitational field will reach over there almost instantaneously you may debate that it may reach with the speed of light and all so the point is we are not talking about the speed of the apple we are not talking about how fast the apple starts moving we are talking how quickly it starts moving how quickly it starts moving not that how fast it is moving so how quickly does the apple starts moving as soon as it gets the signal that the field is on as soon as it gets the effect of the gravitational field as soon as the gravitational field starts passing the apple it feels the effect and it goes down similarly over here all these electrons they were lying in the wire there was no force and hence they were not moving as soon as the electrical field is set up electrons are lying as soon as the electrical field is set up the electrons will start moving opposite to the electrical field because they, they are negative in charge they move opposite to the electrical field so they start moving they start moving they don't gain a, a big time velocity they don't gain a big time speed the reason of that is as soon as they start moving they bump into some nucleus and stop and then again they move because the field is already there again they will start their movement again they start accelerating and then again bump into each other or bump into the nucleus again they will stop or move here and there again because of the field they will start so this 
sta starting stopping starting stopping is making the journey very 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 tedious and very slow but it is going upwards it is going upwards if this bumping and all was not there by the way like a cathode ray tube in the big fat tvs earlier the back side was there was a big back side and here electrons which were coming out into thin air basically you were accelerated using some high voltage tunneling it was getting accelerated and there was there was nothing this is just air or vacuum so there is nothing over here so electrons can speed up speed up without bumping and this electron speed being set up by high voltage itself much higher voltage than what i'm talking about here by the way but still it is the the speed since it is not bumping into each other it's it keeps on accelerating keeps on accelerating before hitting the tv screen and gains a velocity almost like one tenth the speed of light so in a wire what is happening that is not happening in a wire the electrons are bumping 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 into the nucleus or into each other and then again accelerating bumping into the nucleus and accelerating and hence making the journey very slow but even with that slow velocity with that damn slow velocity i hope now you can see some movement in the uh, i don't know whether we can zoom into that part or not if you zoom into that part then you can see some movement uh, in 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 two minutes the snail if the snail has reached over here one meter that electron would have gone 1000 of a meter which is 1 mm 1 mm you won't be able to notice but this but it, i think it is well past two minutes so it has gone maybe a centimeter or so so what i was saying is that this slow movement is enough to light up the heat up the bulb thank god it is that slow if it was so many electrons and a big time movement then it would be a big time energy which is coming out uh, from here which was never needed which was never required so we'll be using our wires and our voltages accordingly so that's it guys about the speed of electron itself and the speed of electricity so there is there are, there's a lot of deep theory in here which we can discuss about this electric field being set up which gives rise to a change in electric field gives rise to give, gives rise to magnetic field and in fact a electromagnetic wave has been set up and any electromagnetic wave has a speed of light so uh, how electricity how the speed of electricity would be comparable to the speed of light will be more re re relevant once we do electromagnetism which is a chapter which is going to come next so that's it for uh, your drift velocity I hope the snail has drifted past the board. Thank you very much.